Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. I got some very interesting videos for you today. I thank everybody uh, for putting up with the makeshift office here in the Midwest. I'm uh, flying out in a few days back to the home office. And thanks for putting up with the, the makeshift, makeshift office. Uh, very uh, interesting videos. Uh, one regarding coming from RT regarding, I guess you can call it a down with the U.S. and down with uh, Israel military parade that was just held in Iran. The second is from uh, United News International. It's uh, China holds military drills in a Taiwanese uh, strait or a Taiwan strait, whatever you want to uh, call it. Uh, now we know that China and Taiwan have some feuding going on. China believes that Taiwan is part of their country and there's some friction there. So uh, definitely news that you need to know about. And the last is uh, also coming out of the United News International. It's regarding uh, a contract, a large contract that was just given to Lockheed Martin for the study and production of hypersonic missiles. Now Russia and China have already started studying them and producing them. And they're so fast, they go over Mach 5 that they can't be uh, uh, picked up on any kind of radar for anti-missile uh, defense. And the United States is concerned uh, of a possible first strike without uh, getting any anti-missiles uh, uh radar picked up where we can knock them down but enjoy them hey thanks for the new subscribers we're always trying to make it new and exciting here at jerusalem's gate uh bless uh, bless you and uh i hope you enjoy the videos China held live fire military exercises on Wednesday in the strait that separates Taiwan from the mainland. The head of China's Taiwan Affairs Office told China Global Television Network that the exercises were meant to safeguard the territorial integrity of the Chinese motherland. China claims Taiwan as its sovereign territory despite its self-rule. Chinese state media reported the exercises took place April 18th but offered few details. They were the first drills in the strait since 2016 and took place just off the Chinese city of Chengzhou in Fujian province. However, Taiwan's defense ministry dismissed the drills as routine shooting practice by land-based artillery. The drills come about a week after China held naval exercises in the South China Sea, followed by Taiwanese exercises off the island's east coast. For United News International in Tokyo, I'm Jung Sil Kim. After reports surfaced that Russia and China have developed hypersonic missiles that could penetrate U.S. missile defenses, the U.S. Air Force has inked a massive contract to develop its own. The service announced on April 18th that it had awarded U.S. defense contractor Lockheed Martin a $928 million contract to design, develop, and test an air-launched hypersonic strike weapon. The project's timeline was unspecified. Russia and China have made huge investments in hypersonic technology, pushing the Pentagon to step up its own efforts to develop hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic missiles can travel for long distances at speeds exceeding Mach 5. Pentagon officials have warned that enemy hypersonic missiles could punch through U.S. missile defenses because they're too fast to shoot down, leaving the country vulnerable 
to a nuclear first strike. For United News International from Washington, D.C., I'm Caitlin Mangum.